Okay, this fucking thing came into my Facebook feed again. In honour of International Women's Day, let these fabulous and profane little girls put some things into perspective for you. A lot of you will recognise this. This is the swearing kids thing. Well, let's have a look. I love it. It's the best thing that feminists ever made. You'd be like, of course you loved it, debunker, you foul mouth twat. You were bound to like that. Yeah, oh, come on. It makes me want to have kids so that I can teach them how to fucking swear like that. That was awesome. That was absolutely brilliant. I feel a bit like I did when I learned that there's sugar in pizzas. You mean by saying my pizza's got sugar in it? It's almost like a cake. It's a pizza cake of sugary goodness. Fuck me. Give me that lush lushness right now that was so fucking amazing i will have as many little girls as i can i want them coming home and going daddy i'm surrounded by fucking numpties at school they don't know what the fuck they're talking about and be like yeah yeah kids can be stupid she'll be like no that's the fucking teachers they don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about like, yeah yeah fucking a i'm gonna get little debunko girls a whole fucking cheerleader troop of them swearing, effing and blinding, going, What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck, what the fuck? Fucking fuck you, fucking fucks, interesting fucking fucks. Don't fucking look at my ass, you fuck. It's sort of ironic that the feminist arguments are so childish they make sense when kids are saying them. What is more offensive than girls saying, fuck, pretty? You're saying that the stereotype sugary sweet little girl is more offensive than the girl swearing. I don't think it is. Six. That was brilliant. Love the presentation, love the poem. It was short, it's snappy, wham balam. You can really believe that that comes from a t shirt company who like to empower women. Yes, you damn. Girl power. Go for it. That was brilliant. I don't know if the parents of the little actresses there would be quite as enthusiastic when they saw the final product. You took your little girl along, oh yep, she's got an audition, oh yep, she's in the advert, brilliant, t-shirt company, stick it on the portfolio, off you go darling, I'll pick you up at dinner time, pick you up, do you want to see a little bit of coffee of what we've been doing? Uh, oh, brilliant, little fucking Lucy, whatever your name is, one of my kids, we'll stick the video in, or DVD, or Blu-ray, depending on which fucking year, and sit down and go, oh, 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 oh this is what you've been doing all day swearing your fucking little mouth off, is it? Yes, and it was fucking brilliant. I'm sure it fucking was. I need to have a word with your agent. Zach. So what is more offensive? A little girl saying fuck 
for the fucking unequal and sexist way. Society treats girls and women. Hey, inequality. Women are paid 23% less than... The fuck? Where does that one come from? Women are paid 23% less than men. In what fucking world are you living? That's ridiculous. No, they're not paid 23% less. We all know the wage gap is a myth. Fuck that off. The earnings gap is 2% or less. It practically doesn't exist. So where the fuck is this 23% figure coming from? This is childish. This is a childish argument out of the mouths of babes. Who the fuck gave you these stats. No wonder you were so angry. <laughs> it's not even fucking true, darling. And this is before we get into the whole, you never saw working class women marching for equal rights. You never saw the wives of miners, a heavy industrial machinist. You never saw these women saying, I, I want to go out and do that. That didn't fucking happen. Of course it didn't fucking happen. The only women who were marching and saying, I want to go out and do what my husband's doing, were the upper middle class who were talking about, I want to be a lawyer, I want to be a business owner, I want to be a politician. They were the ones that were interested in doing what their husbands were doing. The working class women really, really didn't want this. Do not want to be on an equal standing with my husband who's fucking barfing up his lungs down that pit. If feminists like to use the word privileged a lot, let's say this is a cause for the truly privileged women who have been carried to these lofty middle to upper class heights and are now well educated, well sorted, they're in the right social circles, they could be barristers, blah 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 blah, they've spotted this, there's a gap in the market, they could do these decent jobs. Yes they can. But because there are so many guys out there in the army in the fire service, in the high risk, hazardous, heavy industries. There are more guys per year dying in the workplace than women. Guys die younger on average. They're getting danger money, they're getting hazard money, they're getting year on year, well, hopefully for any good or the company's any good, year on year pay increases. They're choosing industries that pay well, not industries that are to do with caring and services. There are reasons for the earning gap. It's very small, but it does exist. To this fucking thing that women are paid 23% less than men for the same job is bollocks. Men for the exact same fucking work. Um, hello and hell no. Rape and violent fucked up fact. One out of every five women will be sexually assaulted or raped by a man. Stop telling girls how to dress and start teaching boys not to fucking I have no idea where the one in five stat comes from. One in five women will be sexually assaulted or raped. Can that even be true? What are they counting as sexual assault here? Just a, like a slap on the arse, stuff like that. Does it go down to pure R levels? Because you can't... You're going to say, oh, well, it's still wrong to slap a woman's ass. Yeah, it's still wrong. But you don't count it in rape statistics. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, it's a generalised debunk. According to the feminist author and resident fellow at the American Enterprise Institute, Christina Hoff Summers. The one in five statistic came from a web-based survey that polled from two major universities in the United States. Of those surveyed, there was a very low response rate, only 42% of those who responded, 19% responded affirmatively that they had experienced attempted or completed sexual assault since entering college. In the survey, sexual assault can be anything ranging from forced kissing to rape. Summers claim that this definition is too wide and that the survey is thus inaccurate. Research on sexual assault is notoriously hard to conduct and very hard to do it right, Summers said. If they're going to say a girl, one in one girls have been talked down to, one in one girls have had lewd comments, you know, you can take this to the nth extreme. But to say the fucking rape and sexual assault are at such an epidemic level it's one in five women are suffering for it that's fucking ridiculous and furthermore to add to that we should be teaching guys not to rape are you fucking kidding me it's not guys that are raping it's rapists it's like saying we should teach guys not to murder but it's not guy you fucking bother you don't need to tell us not to murder tell the fucking murderers we should teach guys not to thieve and rob. No, 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 don't fucking stand there telling me not to thieve and rob. Tell the fucking thieves and robbers. And even if you did this, when has it ever worked? When do you get a fucking thief after the fact? You say, look, dude, 
don't fucking go around robbing people. We're going to put you in jail now because you're a piece of shit and you're robbing people. But when you come out, don't do it again, right? Yeah? Like, we, we're teaching you now. We're teaching you not to rob, right? Yeah. And then fucking 18 months later, he comes out of jail. Six months after that, he ends up in court again. You're like, what the fuck? And he's there going, oh, I, you know, it's the system. Fuck the system. You're trying to get one over on me. I won't play by your rules, you motherfucker. Where's, give me some meth. You know, the pieces of shit who do the thieving and won't stop doing it, they can't be taught not to do it. They do it in the full knowledge of the risk. They do it in the full knowledge of society frowning. And they do it in the full knowledge of upsetting somebody by stealing their stuff. In the full knowledge of the prison sentence, in the full knowledge that it's wrong. They fucking know it's wrong. They do it anyway. Do you think if you sort of went, boy, Ted Bundy, sit down a minute, I need to tell you that murdering people's wrong. Do you think that would have made any fucking difference? Rapists, rape. Murderers, murder. Thieves, thieve. You don't tell them. You can't teach them. The whole of society, everybody else knows that this shit is wrong and it has negative impacts on the people it affects. Everybody fucking knows that. Men, as a collective, know that it's wrong to rape. This fucking puerile argument, let's teach men not to rape. No, go fuck yourself. Let's teach you not to be a money-grubbing, thieving bitch. What was that? What was that? What, you're, you're saying that only a few women marry really old bastards just so they can get the money when the old fuckers die. Only a few women who do that, is it? Well, let's teach all women that that's wrong. <laughs> Sorry, darling, your protest is falling on deaf ears here. You need to know that it's wrong to fucking marry an old bastard just for his money. Instead of telling us not to be old, pervy and gullible when we're rich old bastards, you tell your lot to stop taking the piss. Be pretty. My aspirations in life should not be worrying about the shape of my ass. So fuck focusing on how I look and give me a book. This is one of those absolutely bullshit points that f lies in the face of facts and reality. How popular are YouTube channels that review girls' products, makeups, makeovers, styles of makeup, clothes, stuff like this? Just looking at YouTube channels, not, not any other forums at all, YouTube channels where girls cater to girls in this way. There are hundreds of thousands of subscribers on those channels, they are massively popular. How popular do you think the book review channels are? And how many girls from 8 to 80, let's say, the whole fucking age range, how many women are watching them? Fuck all, they're not interested. You know yourself, you are practically obsessed. And I'm going to say 8 to 80 again, every woman is on a diet. You might say it's society forcing you to be on these diets, but it's you who's doing it, it's you who's acquiescing. I think diets are fucking stupid. Think of all the people you know, especially celebrities, famous people, it's easier to do it with famous people. All the people you know are roughly the same size for the whole amount of time that you know them. Yeah? Nobody balloons up constantly, nobody slims down constantly. Everyone you know, and everyone you know of, and all the celebrities we're aware of, are roughly the same size for as long as we know them. Doesn't that fucking tell you something about body size? That people's bodies naturally regulate at a certain amount of chubbiness or not, and that's that. And there's pretty much nothing you can do for it. The whole fucking diet industry sort of preys on your insecurities and you fucking let it. I mean, the whole, whole whole of society everybody does this men and women yo bro when you tell a boy it's bad to act like a girl it's because you think it's bad to be a girl fuck that sexist <laughs> the little kids are sexist who to thunk the little boys and little girls hate each other. Well, that was never clear, was it? You wouldn't identify that in every generation. Of course they fucking hate each other. They think each other stinks. The little girls and little boys just do not relate to each other at all. They almost can't stand each other. It's only after puberty that they go, ah, now I see what those things are for. There's probably a strong evolutionary reason for that. Maybe to stop you from trying to fuck as little kids or something, I don't know. 
maybe to stop you from being a threat that if you were a threat to the dominant fucking males in the region perhaps they would just kill you just sometimes that happens in the animal kingdom it's infanticides but it's not a major surprise and a little boy says to his mate you're being a girl it is an insult it will always be an insult it's been an insult since time immemorial there's nothing you can do about that it's not a societal sexist issue little boys and little girls are antagonistic to each other and that is that is that some of the cunts never grow out of it you get a whole group of women who sort of go, yeah, boys are mean, boys are mean, and collectively we call them feminists. And there's a whole group of grown guys out there going, well, girls smell, well, girls smell, and we call them MGTOW. They are the funniest fuckers in the world until they try to change the laws and shit. No, 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 no. Then at that point it's gone too far. These childish fucks need to go out, fucking get on one of the very first planes that's going to do this low earth orbit skimming and the rest of us can pray that something goes wrong.